There's a cat rustling around in a wheelbag over there. <laughs> I wonder if she's tubeless. <laughs> <laughs> Morning! Um, I have been invited out to Gran Canaria to race Epic Gran Canaria, which is a crit on Saturday and a Gran Fondo or kind of sport eve um, on the Sunday. I'd, I'd actually already booked flights to Malaga. I was going to go there and ride my jump bike and go mountain biking, but it just sounded like such a really such a cool event, and um, they are putting us up in a really nice hotel as well. So I couldn't resist. Uh, as it's like February and I wasn't really expecting to race, I don't feel like I'm in tip-top condition. I was expecting my first proper race to be a little bit later in the year, but you know, I'm willing to just jump on in and give it a go. So here's my dilemma. I don't know what bike to take because obviously the crit on the Saturday is a totally different kind of race to the Grand Fondo on the Sunday, which is I think 130 kilometers and at least two and a half thousand meters of climbing. So basically I've got two road bikes that I ride regularly. So I could ride this Guma 773, which is a super nice road bike that ASOS gave me when I signed with them a few years ago. Um, it's super lightweight. I mean, I'm not sure how much it weighs, seven kilos something maybe, I don't know. Um, actually, I'm gonna put it on the scales after the video because I wanna find out. And it has got SRAM Red, it's mechanical gearing, it's got, you know, carbon cranks, carbon seat post, it's, it's just really lightweight and amazing. And the good thing about this bike is that it feels great for racing, I've raced on it before, but it's also quite comfortable and so it'd be really good for climbing. So do I go with this setup? Or... <laughs> Do I go with the Live Envy Advance? So this bike, um, I've shown you it before in, in the video I did about all the bikes I've got at the moment. Um, it's full carbon, I mean it's super aero, as you can see it's all oversized tubes, you know huge bottom bracket area down there and obviously it's got um, an aero seat post which means that it's stiffer than anything in the whole world. So it feels really really fast, it's amazing to race on but comfortable for a long ride. The other great thing about this bike is it's got shrammy tap. See, I got it right this time. Um, so it shifts flawlessly. And when you're racing a crit, I mean, that is just such a weight off my mind. I've had problems in the past with the mechanical group set on my Guma bike. At the Maratona last year, the, um, the end of the cable came out inside the hood, so, it's made me a bit worried about that bike. I mean, I've ridden it since then, it's been fine, but it's just really nice when you've got a setup that works every single time. You can shift flawlessly. I mean, I just, it makes it really hard to go back. So, do I ride this bike? Or do I ride the Guma bike? This is better for the Crit, the other one is better for the Grand Fondo. And I haven't even talked about wheels. <laughs> I like the way you've done it on the sofa. Oh yeah, you always do it on the, the sofa. <laughs> I just washed it in the shower. <laughs> no, I just saw it in the bathroom and I figured, well, it's clean. <laughs> full, full. <laughs> this is like one of the few times Juliet's bike's clean and you can see when it's cleaned by Juliet, I mean, it's a oh. below standard job usually, which is why I normally clean the bikes. <laughs> Perfectionist. Right. Yo. What's up? What's up? Aww. Hey. I'm going to weigh the bikes. Oh wait, but it's not a good test because this one's got my power tap pedals on it and they weigh a ton. Yeah, we'll just weigh them. We'll put, we've will put we got a spare pair of pedals, so we'll put them on that one. Ah, we'll put the power tap pedals on the other one? Yeah. What does it say? That's zero in. 7.4... Hurry up, my arms hurt. Zero. Alright, that'll do. Time to weigh the Guma bike. We've got power tap pedals on this as well now. What do you think is the lightest bike, Dave? Oh, it's this one. And you think this one's lightest? Yeah, well, I'm, I can see the uh, scale. Ah, <laughs> yeah, okay. So 6.8. 6.8. Oh my god, I got it down. Yeah. 6.875. So, UCI legal. With power pedals, actually, that weigh 400 grams. It's not bad. 
Moving on from the bike, the other, sorry I can't stop laughing, cats, because the cats are fighting, as they always do whenever I'm filming, which is weird, because they don't spend ages fighting, it's just when I turn the camera on. But anyway, the other dilemma is what wheels to use. My Goomba bike is already set up with American Classic Sprint 350 wheels. They are lightweight and stiff, low profile, so good for climbing. They're not like top of the line, they're not carbon for a start, but uh, they're great all round the wheels. So they're going to be good for climbing, but I'm going to sacrifice a bit of speed on the way down and on the flats. They are actually tubeless compatible. I haven't got them set up tubeless because I've got some Pirelli tyres on there that aren't tubeless. Um, if I wanted to, I could set them up as tubeless, which is nice. Um, with tubeless, obviously, you can run slightly lower pressure, which gives you a bit more grip, better cornering for the crit. So that might be an option. Or I can go for... Sorry, put my tea down. I can go for the fast forward. Six, so these are six R's. Yeah, so they're 60mm deep, they're carbon, they're their road wheels. Um, these are crazy light, they're really, really fast. They make a nice sound as you whiz along. Um, and I just love those wheels. They're not actually mine, they're Dave's, so thank you, Dave. Actually, I haven't asked if I can borrow them. Can, can I borrow them? Yeah, you can borrow them. Thanks. <laughs> so, um... I could put these on, uh, but it can be pretty windy in Gran Canaria, and even in the crit, I mean, we're racing by the sea, so is that going to be an issue? I don't know. Um, I'm thinking I might take two sets of wheels, actually. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the fast forward wheels, and I'm going to take the Am Classics, because I can ride those for the crit and the Am Classics for the Gran Fondo. Still haven't decided what bike I'm going to take though. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going to be doing some more videos whilst I'm in Gran Canaria, so keep an eye out for those. Uh, if you like this one, give it a thumbs up and subscribe.